All right, so it's, it's still working. One other piece that we are missing is we have the CSS in the global. So we have it globally. Let's go ahead and you know what, get the entire thing and move it over so that the code stays encapsulated within that little uh, skeleton loader. Um, if you don't need it in the page, you don't need to load that code. So I always think it's a good idea to keep the code. And that's honestly why I love Vue.js because it, it allows you to keep your code uh, in little compartments, you know, so it's easier for you to um, easier for the server and the website and the device to load everything when it's less things being loaded. That's always important. And like my friend, a German engineer says, um, even the big, even, no, even the small animals can make a big pile of manure. So that's a German saying. I don't know a lot about it, but basically what it means is little by little, you start adding up and this thing starts getting um, slow and slow and slow. And it's better if we keep it all within the same thing. Make sure that the loader is running. So you see, this is what I mean. Usually like it takes a while for for yarn and under this setup it takes a while for it to load and run webpack would have been done already anyway i don't know if it's working or not but anyway that's how you can put it inside of a view component oh there you go now you, you got it you got it okay cool awesome and let's double check if that is still working yep it's still working cool so like say you're loading um a grid something and you want to load these three you can do that of course you can probably eliminate some of this code so just put it on the actual row um, right here so the way you can do it is like say you're getting something from the server uh, say this is for, for example like a blog or a grid of products that you're trying to show your clients or in within your app and and basically uh, once you get the response from the server you're going to turn this loader off so you're going to turn this into false and we're not going to do an entire server call but we can do something like um oh let's get this twisted okay there you go uh loading so like set loading state something like this and then we'll be able to pass the state right here and we're going to do this loading is equals to state okay uh, actually not this state so it's just this keyword right there so let's just do a value um, so i guess it's still loading all right, so now we have those methods. Uh, now we're probably gonna do something where when it's mounted, so when the instance mounts and you have created, you have mounted, you have destroyed, you have a few different, if you go to the Vue.js documentation, you're gonna see you have a few different options in there. And we're gonna set timeout. So wait a little bit so that we show that, like sort of like uh, mimicking a server call. We're not doing a server call really. And we'll wait like seven, seven seconds. Actually, that's too much. Five seconds. And we'll run this right there. Set loading state. And then we'll do false. So we're saying, hey, we want to uh, change this loading state to false after five seconds. And run. So it's hopefully doesn't look like it's formatted yet so I don't know if that has to do with me recording the video and everything being slow or what it is but anyway everything is still working everything is still in place let me just do a uh, browser clear cache so so we'll make sure that that is empty cache in hard reload yeah so now it looks better there you go now now you colored everything the way i want it cool thank you i think it is the, the loader honestly webpack is a lot faster 
I'll do my next video on Webpack. <laughs> I've talked so much about it that I'm going to do my next one on how to set up Webpack for Laravel. All right. So, yeah, that's it. So, once this loads, it's a little slow. In the meantime, let me go and show you some of the other elements that are inside of the CSS. So, that one has a square. So you see you have square, line, and circle. You can probably make your own triangle or, or rectangle if you want something. So we can actually make that right now. So if you want a rectangle, we'll probably make that like uh, 60 by 30, you know, something like that. And then let's, let's do uh, right here, let's do circle. Right here, let's do rectangle. It's loaded again and ah still hasn't built okay there you go ah not good but anyway let's look at the circle why is it so small it's probably the width and the height like that they're very, they are very small so if you do that and maybe increase this a little bit to 50 as well and then if we go into the rectangle that one was too big actually so Let's make it 40 by 20. All right, so a little bit better, but you get the point. Like you, you have to play with it until you finally get the, the measurements that you want. Um, something probably you can make it a little bit more dynamic depending on what kind of content you have. Or you can create different components that have different loaders, or you can create just different elements and then pass something like an option where you say, hey, I want the square, I want the circle, I want the rectangle as a property. And yeah, that can work. So let's see, uh, if the square is 30 height, so the square is 30 height, I want that 30, but I want that to be like 50 or 45, because obviously that one's too big or actually 40. So it looks almost like a square, but it's really a rectangle. And basically what I'm trying to do is like the space. Uh, uh, it just takes playing a little bit with it, but you'll get it. You see? So that's how you can set it up. And now you can use this component for uh, whatever. Oh, so that, that was the server call. So once it stops loading, boom, you're going to show some content. So that's why they disappear. You see? So that's actually executing this right here, waiting five seconds, and then it's disappearing. This can be your server call. So boom, you got the data and then you do something like, hey, this loading value or this loading false, you know, which is the state that I'm passing right here. Uh, and that's it. Uh, that'll be it for today. I'm going to leave it short uh, so you can get a better idea and play with it. Let me know if you want to elaborate a little bit more on it, how to make it a little bit more dynamic. And I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one. Make sure you comment. Make sure you click on the bell, follow all, all of it. Make sure you do all of it. Uh, I appreciate you and have a great one. Thank you for sticking by.